I might even do uh, a uh, demo review right now, actually. Some backstory, okay? So, as you guys know, uh, or don't know, this guy right here, he was, I think, face at level 7 when he came to me and he asked, uh, well, the goals was breaking down gameplay, such so analyzing what went wrong in certain situations, how to read situations better to be able to make the best decision. So, I think I was around here when I coached him. He was already trending upwards, but then... Slowly, he actually kept improving, and now he's actually gone all the way up to phase of level 10, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in this game, and actually he was level 9 here. I'm going to check this demo and see if he actually really improved. So let me just tell you this. The main thing that I worked on with Advertised was that I noticed that he didn't know when to fall back from his sight. So for example, he was playing A. Uh, they had an advantage, and he would play here while his teammates were like playing like this. You know, because this right here, it's a really easy position to get traded out. You don't have any support, stuff like that. So I just told him, work on your positioning because positioning is one of the most important things in Counter-Strike, okay? So no one has said a word yet, but so I guess they're in team speak. Let me check for a second here. Yes, it was a five, man. Okay, that's nice. Pistol rounds. I can't really say too much about the pistol rounds. Everyone's over peaking. This guy's peaking car still. Probably the best thing to do right now is to push the guy off. You know, there's only one B. I think they could actually win this round easily if they get this kill here. Oh, you can see him there. Gets that kill. Okay. I'm also going to focus on his teammates because they're in a five, man. You know, maybe they can learn something from this. So right now in a position, which is pretty okay. They both have Kevlar. One has a USB, one's playing new box, and the other guy has taken control of ruins. So right now, this is a pretty favorable position to win. All right, because let me explain this. Zucchini is holding off the ruins. This guy doesn't have to worry about ruins at all. He can spot CT whenever he likes, and he can get information from people running into the site. And the thing is, if he doesn't spot anyone towards CT, Zucchini can make an easy rotate towards Coffin and hold the site crawl. And then XL can peek whenever an, a CT comes into the line of sight. Okay, let's see how they play this out. So they spot him. The main thing for Excel here is to not die, all right? Because his teammate's coming in with a backstab. And actually, Zucchini gets taken out because Rehiz was expecting a push. So maybe it was better for Zucchini to actually go here and hold this instead. No kit, most likely. And he does get the ace. Holy shit, this guy just fucking aced it. It's crazy. Okay, so this is actually going to be the first buy. Now, I can't really call it a buy round. It's more like an anti-eco here. So let's see. Um, kind of disliking this. But I guess right now already there's been a call that there's five mid. So I assume they're preparing for that. Okay. Okay, you know what? We're not going to talk about this one. You know what? We'll skip to the next round. We're not going to talk about that one. After Dice does have a good spawn towards Banana. Is he going to use that Molotov towards Card? That's what I told him. He is going to do it. Also, uh, you can... Uh, what you also can do is just smoke this. It's also fine to do. So, yeah. Also goes for the nade. The nade could have been a bit better. Like, he more like this. Like, yeah. Okay, people could be playing here. People could be playing here. Whatever. Double nade towards here. They're most likely going to fall back and play from sight. So let's see how they capitalize on that. If someone shoulder peek CT, they should come out with a smoke from the CT side. But they're not going to do it. They have banana control, they go back. And then the rest of the team is going to go towards mid, but already meeting some resistance here towards the mid area. So already what's going wrong here is they got full banana control and they want to take bracket. They want to play with the rotations. You want someone to, for example, uh, rotate to B or from B to rotate to A. That's how you want to play Inferno. Or you go for a set execute, that works fine too. So yeah, good Molotov from Advertised. He Molly's actually under the balcony, holds that swing position. He might get a nice kill. And that works just fine. Okay, you killed the short guy. And now he wants to go for the fight. Personally, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. But yeah, would he have smoked long here? It would have been just fine. Like, uh, his teammate wouldn't have died. They wouldn't have lost the bomb. Uh, and his teammates would have probably still gotten this kill towards B. Yeah, this is just going to be a deagle or a deco, as people call on the face it. Nothing too special. Pretty sure they're going to lose this, but you never know. Yo, what the fuck? This guy just got two kills. And he actually has B control right now. Is he going to take this fight too? He is going to take that fight. He's low. One HP. Now, I don't really like this. All right. You're on a force buy. You don't have a lot. And your teammate's running B by yourself. Best thing to do is either to just maybe go fast behind him. Or just rotate back towards B and help out your teammate. Because now, now there's only one guy on B. Okay, I like this. So, Notorious Gip is hiding in this corner. Which is perfectly fine. It's a really good position if you just don't peek first. Actually, the first person to peek here should be Advertised. So they don't expect Notorious. So let's see. Advertised does play first. Doesn't hit the Diffuser. And now, I want to see some discipline from Notorious. He's going to wait here. Kill comes in. 
The only downside right now in this situation is that he doesn't have Kevlar. So he has to hit the first headshot. So let's see how he does it. I don't know. I, that was a really good anti-eco, actually. Or uh, a deco. So I hear Aphetize here with the full utility. And his team also gets some nice utility. So it looks like they're going to be going for banana control. Let's see how they do it. And now Gib actually gets an entry because the CTs wanted to retake banana control to like flash from here, swing in, get that kill. But Gib was holding it and kills him full blind. Okay, and now this is what I call the panic smoke. Entry comes in and an instant smoke from a CT side. This normally indicates there's only one playing towards B. In my opinion, they should disrespect this smoke CT, flash through the smoke. What they actually do is they take their time, they line up all the util, and Gib gets another kill through a smoke. I don't know, Gib's just doing all the work here. Advertise is a re-smoke for CT. But he takes a very aggressive position, which isn't necessary at all. He could have played pool, could have played double dark, wherever. If you have that extra smoke, re-smoke CT. So let's see how they played this out. Gip could just jiggle this. This is a perfect angle. Cell takes that first fight, gets it. Last guy from CT. And he does take that fight and gets it. Very, very nice. This time, there's a bit of the variation. He, they smoke short and then they flash through. So Zucchini only has to check long. Let's see how they do it. Flash comes out. Nice little pre-fire there. Okay, well, they took control. He's still worried about the short position, but he has to worry about boiler instead. Oh, what is he doing? Okay, he does clear it. I was about to say, you can't just, like, be that focused on short. Taking banana control. What's the car? Now he actually chugs that nade towards the corner, which is nice. They do a full execute, which is nice. Full execute against people that only have USPs. Oh, he sees more behind the fountain. Getting those eco frags. Let's push from CT. Actually, no, it's a 2v2. But yeah, at this point, take control of A. Should be easy. But at this point, it looks pretty pretty one one at this point. Yeah. Okay, they're going to go for the same thing. But this time, no smoke and short again. <laughs> what? Oh, they smoked long. Oh, okay. No, I get it. Okay, they smoked long. I was like, wait, how does that work? But the idea was nice. They, they flashed through mid again. This time they smoked long instead of short. They take that fight. And then Advertise actually goes for the trade. So they have three kills on the A site. He's playing a kind of risky game here with his knife out. Yeah. Takes that mid fight. Yeah, like nothing's happening. Again, out with the knife. I see this. This is a really bad habit that I see happen from like lower ranked players. Is where they always take their knife out when they're rotating in even if there's no info to be found I, okay so they got two kills on b but look everyone's just running around knife out smokes out and now they're gonna get mowed down with this guy playing sandbags he only has a 5-7 so this guy just oh that's rough so far team advertised here is kind of dominating the uh, the t side yeah ct smoke comes in flash comes out and they decide to not go through that smoke, which could have been a perfect play, actually. People really underestimate a B pop, like in a way that someone flashes in this smoke and you just go through and the smoke CT lands right when you're about to go through. They're scared of the smoke. They really are. But now they're slowly shifting back. So they pull the rotate over from A. And now they want to accelerate because at this point, Sal is still putting pressure on B. They're going to stay 3B and now they can go fast A. Because long players normally rotation. He's the guy from sight, and it kind of falls apart here. Um, yeah. But yeah, there's definitely some team play going on. I like the fact that Advertiser is playing five minutes because five minutes do give you more experience and on playing in a team. They want to take banana control again. They know the opera is playing towards B, and actually now the CT side is pulling out a double op setup. And he's going for a pretty wide angle here. If you spectate Super Sami, they're going to be fucked at this point. I think the Molly missed. Yeah, the molly missed just a bit. You want this molly to land just in front of the, the car here. You don't want it to land behind the car because they can just peek in front of it. And they know the opera's playing B, so they didn't expect that. There Whoa. is an instant trade from Gib, however, so that was a nice double peek from them. So smoke comes in. And actually, just when that flash gets thrown, Nika was looking, in, was looking into the wall. But I don't think that flash would have got him regardless. But also the problem here is that Gip's going through this by himself. There's no trade potential. All right. But uh, yeah, trade didn't come in. Spamming the smoke. And he gets through smoked. Okay, this looks like an apps bolt. <laughs> and Advertise gets that kill on the AWP because he was moving like a spastic. Yep, that's the power of the MAC-10. And now they need to capitalize on this, go faster. But they just take their time again. 
they're gonna run up they're not gonna contact up and after i was just gonna walk up and die there I could have just forgot about the op and just went to balcony jump out towards pit and take the pit control because map control is more important than getting an op guys nice straight towards long hair they come out he's gonna plant the ball on default is this smart no one is holding short moon moon in a great position here sees one short i on balk okay they can win it now no Cell goes for that peak, not necessary, and actually they lose the round because of it. Why does Cell go for this peak and give up the fight when he could have just stayed mini pit and held the side cross, while his teammate could have also just held the side cross? And you have a crossfire set up from the guy. He walks in, he dies. Pistol rounds are kind of RNG in my opinion. It's about whoever shoots the best headshot. Okay, normally in my coaching sessions, I think Avatar's played short mostly, but this time he's gonna play naps. So I'm gonna see a lot of people here. Okay, there's one guy. Gonna go for that peak. It's just a Glock. It's just a Glock. Still on that MP9. Doesn't decide to buy up an M4. Let's see if it pays off. Here comes the flash. And he dies. You can't just play play like this. You're playing short by yourself with an MP9 where your teammates are just doing fuck all. And here, better thing to would have done is just to play apps. Take this app control. Nice. Okay, advertise gets out of there. He's playing the short position. I like that. Nice. This is a lot better. I like that. He actually gave it up. And now they're going to go towards B. So actually an over rotate coming in from the CT side is just notorious. He's going to pop that smoke down, but it might just not be in time. So notorious here. He shouldn't shoot. He should just wait for people to come through that smoke and he can just... Well, you see what happens, right? And now they just lose the B bomb side because of it. And actually Moose going to disrespect that smoke and go through as well. Holy shit. All he has to do is get at least one or two kills here. And Zucchini disrespects the smoke, goes through, and dies first before Advertise even takes the control. Nice flash on Pit. Does get one kill. Can he get two? Can get two. Sees the guy on hate cart, and he does some nice damage. This is totally for Moo to win now. Resmoke comes in. He's playing close. Did he not spot him? He didn't spot him. They're all stacked up towards the short area. His main priority is just getting on a position where he can hold down the, the side walk up to and create a crossfire. So kind of unfortunate from Zucchini. And then two towards B. No, Gibbs should instantly smoke this. The panic smoke. Flash comes in. Flash completely misses. Actually bounces off the roof. Um, so now Gibbs can just get some easy kills through that smoke. And boom. Still in the end, it's still a 2 for 2 trade and they get the B bomb side. It is favorable for the T side, but would that flash have landed just a bit better? Gip would have been blind, but now CT side actually has a chance back in this. Avatar is going to disrespect that smoke. He's expecting him to be banana. He is banana. Can't get traded here. Boom. So just one pointer for Avatar there. Wait out the CT smoke, then smoke banana, because a guy could just go from this smoke into that smoke. This is a pretty good play. Smoking this off and then flashing through. Oh, he doesn't see anyone. But he decides to stick around here. Oh, no. Yeah. 400 IQ play. Rahis already deep in CT. And he might get a free kill on Sakini. He does get a free kill on Sakini. Now, this is going to call for the rotate from the CT side. And now, you know, most pro teams in this situation would probably save here. Because you got no util. You're half HP. So... <laughs> If you look at it from this, Rahiz has full loan control. The only place they have to worry about is apps and mid. And Messi is set up in a way so he can peek long after they decide that long's clear and they go for the short peak. So hats off to the T side. They played this perfectly. And now they're in a tough spot. They're going to be on three Famases, three smokes. Oh no, are they actually going to lose this? I kind of I kind of missed it. 2v2 retake, full HP, and a kit, and a smoke. I can just feel the pressure in this situation here. Oh, wait. Where is he playing? He's playing on Graveyard. Oh, and he gets he gets killed. They know the last guy's on site. They're going to get traded out. And they win it just about 14-14. It's a B execute, sort of. Now, it's a double off angle setup. Let's see what happens. Kip gets traded. Moo drops down. Full blind gets a kill. But he doesn't get anything else. So it's still 3v2. Super Sammy playing pool with 4 HP. Now, this is personally not a position I would play with 4 HP. I think probably the reason they won this round is because this guy here playing pool with 4 HP. That's something I would play. Maybe play Dark, play New Box, have like a little crossfire setup. Round is going to be a 50-50, in my opinion. Uh, one AK also for the CT side. I love that. So, 
Break down off the current B push. Smoke's down. One guy ran through, dead. Move also with the crossfire. No way in hell they go through this, right? Oh, yeah, Rahis runs through it. I mean, look at the flashes. They have four, they have three flashes right now. They could have flashed any flash in this smoke, over the smoke, sight flash, whatever. Yeah. Oh, actually, Trey comes out. But he gets killed on the cross and they lose it. Say, so what did I see from this game? I don't know. It, it, to be honest, if I look at Avatar's performance compared to the last time I coached him, he definitely stepped up. He didn't commit to short as much. He used his utility better. Uh, the team play was off in some situations because of the communication. You can't really blame them for it. I mean, it's a lower ranked face it games. Um, but yeah, pretty decent. I can tell you improved. I love that.